Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's got a scarf. Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd, and I'm waiting. Sonic fans are probably some of the most fickle fans I've ever seen. Here's a group of people that love Sonic the Hedgehog, but hate everything Sonic the Hedgehog does. If it ain't Sonic the Hedgehog 2, or a remastered version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, or a virtual console version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, then they ain't interested. Give me Liberty, or give me Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I feel bad for that poor hedgehog, because he's trying so hard. He's like a sitcom star. It's like we liked him for one thing, running fast, but now we're in a new generation where he wants to try different things, wants to explore, wants to be more 3D, more next gen, and the more that he tries, the more that we're like, no, 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 we just want that running thing. Sonic the Hedgehog is basically the Steve Urkel of video game characters. Huh, that's ironic. I'm gonna tell you my personal love-hate with Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic games recently, they're really, really good to a point. It'll start off, I'm just like, yeah, this is great. This is the Sonic I've been wanting. He's running fast. I love this, perfect. What, I got a fish now? I gotta dig up through dirt with knuckles. Why I gotta have a sword? Why I gotta be a werehog? These little sperm looking things floating around me. Uh, no thank you. Can we just have the old Sonic? Can the new Sonic just go away and just keep the classic Sonic? Do, 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 do. Give me Liberty or give me Sonic the Hedgehog too. They try to do something so complex when they could just do something so simple that would probably just be enough to please those Sonic fans. Which leads me to Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom got teased last year with some silhouettes of the Sonic characters, but now we have the official trailer for both the Sonic Boom cartoon and the Sonic Boom video game. Let's get to the big thing, the new designs of Sonic and Friends. Oh my god! They put buttons on Amy Rose's dress! Oh, the Sonic franchise is ruined! No, obviously there's been a lot of talk about Knuckles being basically uh, Hulk, Hulkles. And while there's a lot to take in at first, you gotta understand they had to do that. We already have a blue hedgehog, a pink hedgehog, and a red enigma, enigma, the Riddler, who basically looks like a red hedgehog. They had to do something to him. They had to change him up. So sure, give him some steroids, pump him up. I'm Knuckles. I want to bump you up. Let's go, Sonic. Ah. Knuckles is now so good at baseball. Knuckles, asterisk. Tails got goggles on. That's cool. And Sonic the Hedgehog has a scarf. He's hipster Sonic now. I loved Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 on Xbox. Ironically, hipster Sonic, hipster, hipster Sonic. I didn't know that Mobius was located in Portland. I had this cool band with my brother and sister. You probably never heard of it. It's very underground. Some would say it's Sonic Underground. Hipster Sonic, hipster, hipster Sonic. And all this time we were worried about the Ninja Turtles putting on clothes, not knowing that right across the way, Sonic and friends were at the mall picking out some new outfits. I liked Game Gear before it was cool. Hipster Sonic. Mario is just so mainstream. I'm a social media expert. Hipster Sonic! That's ridiculous. It's very clear why Sonic the Hedgehog is wearing a scarf. Sonic is the doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Andre of Blackner Comedy, have made his first Doctor Who reference. Ah, and the crowd goes wild! It will never happen again! Because I've never seen the show! I'm okay with the designs. I just got one question. Why are they wearing so many bandages? Are they cutters? Sonic, do you need to tell us something? Look, this is not the way, all right? Don't cut yourself. I know the times have been rough for you guys for the past few years, but there's no need to resort to that. Why does he have bandages on his shoes? Sonic has bandages on shoes. So you mean to tell me something was like waking up in the morning and put on my sack, I put on my shoe, and then let me wrap bandages around my shoes? Let me put bandages on my hands and then put on a glove? What? Now let's get to the cartoon itself. I kind of dug the trailer. I really was getting a Roadrunner vibe, even down to the fact that they put it in a desert. And it looked fun. It kind of had a Ninja Turtle style of action and a Phineas and Ferb style of jokes, especially with this gag about why Robotnik called a robot the burn bot, even though he doesn't do anything with fire. It was a little funny gag, a little play on things. Tails comes out in a plane, which uh, remind me again why Tails is always flying a plane. He knows that he can swing his two tails around and fly with that, right? I'm just curious why he's always flying planes. I guess because he's the tech guy. Wait a second. Sonic is blue and he's a leader. Tails is the tech guy. Knuckles is a muscle and has an attitude and Amy Rose is the fun out there one. Sonic and friends are the Ninja Turtles. Sonic's Leonardo, Tails is Donatello, Knuckles is Raphael, and Amy Rose is Michelangelo. Teenage Mutant Sonic, boom, heroes in a hedgehog, Sega power. The cartoon is supposed to premiere on Cartoon Network so you know it's gonna get all kinds of crazy advertisement. We could have Steven Universe and then Sonic Universe. So I'll give it a shot, maybe it'll be good. The video game, however, I have concerns. I look at the trailer, it's got a lot of dubstep in it. Sonic. Sonic. Hedgehog bang Sonic. So I already know, hey, what are you trying to hide? 
<laughs> Whenever anyone gives you something with a bunch of dubstep, that means they're hiding something. Truth. It's not that it looks bad, it's just, it just looks like your regular Sonic games that we've had in the past. You're gonna be able to switch between the characters because they all have different abilities, so it's Sonic the Hedgehog out of the shadows. And I'll also keep my fingers crossed because a different development company is gonna be behind this, Big Red Button Entertainment, which is based out of Southern California. Sonic team is gonna be helping along, but it's mainly gonna be them. The people that founded Big Red Button are some of the people that worked at Naughty Dog, which might explain the Sonic scarf. Sonic Drake, Sonic Unleashed, more like Sonic Uncharted, am I right? <laughs> Video game jokes. So it could be interesting to see Sonic in the hands of someone else. Has it ever been a problem before where a beloved franchise was made by a completely different company? Okay, give me another example. Okay, give me, okay, we got it, we got it. This is what I personally would have wanted. If Sonic is making these exclusive video games from Nintendo, why didn't Nintendo make the game? You already did this DLC Yoshi's Island level for Sonic Lost World. Sega, Nintendo, get together, have a little bit of drinks, have a little one night stand, and then make a Sonic baby out of that. An unplanned Sonic video game pregnancy. <laughs> you could be the teen mama video game companies. Or I don't know, here's a novel idea. Can Mario and Sonic be in a video game together? That's not at the Olympics. People would be like, yeah, finally, all my fan fiction has come true. Except for all those demon art pictures of Princess Peach. Don't search it. Trust me, don't search it. I think the cartoon is gonna be fine, but this is gonna be a tough sell for those hardcore Sonic fans, or video game fans in general. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, their video game components are still on the shelves, now at a discount. So here's hoping that Sonic Boom brings something innovative both in the animation world as well in the video game world. And if that doesn't work, just call the cartoon series Sonic Boom and just have it play Sonic the Hedgehog 2 gameplay for 30 minutes. I hear that will be just fine for Sonic fans. What do we want? Sonic the Hedgehog 2, when do we want it? For the rest of our lives. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think of these new Sonic Boom designs and are you excited about the Sonic Boom cartoon and or the video game? If you like this video, tickle that thumbs up button and if you're new here, subscribe. I make new videos all the time. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000. Chain chomp. Yomp. April derps. Derp, derp, derp. Gotta go fast, fast. Gotta go faster. Sonic X. We don't need any more cartoons for you, Sonic. What was my favorite game on Sega Dreamcast? Typing of the Dead. Hipster Sonic. Hipster, hipster Sonic. <laughs>